I'm Lauren Pope and I'm hopefully going to be answering some questions that I get quite regularly from uh, you guys and also just give you a bit of information about my recent breast augmentation that I have with Maya Cosmetic Surgery. I, and I know this isn't a common request, but I decided I wanted to go from my larger implants to a smaller implant for a few reasons, um, partly because I just thought they were too big for me. I got very caught up in the excitement of having them done the f like when I had them done probably like seven years ago. Um, and I just, I don't know, I just, yeah, like I said, I got caught up with it. I had them too big for my body. Um, they were quite circular because they were too big for my body. Outfits that I like to wear now are very different to what I would wear then. It wasn't a decision I took lightly. I chose Maya because I've dealt with Maya before. So many people go to them and when I, I looked into re-augmentation, because obviously it's slightly different to just uh, having your uh, boobs on for the first time. And again, a lot of the research online suggested Maya. So I spoke to them, went to see my doctor, immediately felt comfortable. And I think he just got what I was asking for, that I wanted smaller, and natural looking implants. And I know that's, um, it's not something that they can guarantee and they're very honest about that. They were also very honest about the fact that my scarring that I had before would have to be made wider, uh, which I, actually, I preferred them to be honest and tell me all these things because these are all the little things that you need to take into consideration. The thing is this definitely what I wanna do. Um, and yeah, I left that, I left that appointment feeling really confident and not nervous. Um, which made me think, yeah, this is what I want to do. I went back again before I went into the surgery just to be sure, and that wasn't a problem for them at all, which um, I think is really important. I, I think you should go more than once just to be sure that you know what you want, you know what you're doing, and also that you're very clear on how the whole procedure works. Um, I chose to stay overnight purely because I am quite a drama queen when it comes to uh, being poorly and things like that. And I just wanted the nurses to be there when I like if I needed them. Um, so I stayed overnight. The doctor came back in the morning and said I was uh, free to go home. Came home and I just rested. I just took a couple of weeks off work, rested and recovered. And I'm so beyond happy with the results. I cannot even tell you. In terms of sizing, I went from a 350 through to a 310. Um, I know it doesn't sound like a big difference, but for me, it, it, in terms of my body shape, it really was. And I think it was the exact size. Um, the doctor helped me pick my size. I think that's a, an important thing as well to kind of mutually agree your size. You don't wanna go too big. You don't wanna go too small. Um, I think that's when you need to kind of trust their skills there and that they know what's, how the result's gonna look. So go and get yourself, this is before you have it all done, go and get yourself a V-shaped pillow. You know the big, they're kind of like this size. Amazing for in bed because you do have to sleep upright, like sat up, and also get yourself one of those airplane pillows that kind of come around your neck. They will, um, they basically stop your head from, you know, when you're kind of drifting off to sleep and your head goes like that and it wakes you up. So that was my lifesaver. I think it's really important to try and get as much sleep as you can when you're recovering. So yeah, get those before you go. Also, anything you're gonna need. So your toothbrush, your toothpaste, food, your milk, um, baby wipes, things like that. Keep them all, put them, before you leave, put everything at this kind of level. So when you're stood up, you can reach it because you can't lift your arms for a little while. So you make sure that everything's accessible. Um, yeah, get yourself some baby wipes. You can have a bath but obviously you can't get anything wet, so I would kind of sit in the bath and then use baby wipes. Um, wash your hair, either the night before or the morning before, because you probably won't be bothered to wash your hair for a little while afterwards. Um, just little things like this, like you may, you may already have thought of, but I didn't think of, and someone, I kind of did some research and someone told me all these things, and I'm so glad they did. So I hope this video has been of some use, if not, then um, the, as I said before, your nurse, your coordinator and your doctor will be able to answer any other questions. Feel free to still DM me on Instagram, things like that. That's kind of the basis of where this whole video has come from because I wanted to answer as many people's questions as possible. And yeah, I hope, like I said, this has been useful. I've had an amazing journey with Maya and I'm sure if you speak to them, you will as well. And I will see you all soon. Mwah.